Hey there, Dr. Allison over at Natural Wellness Physiotherapy. Today we're talking again about hip strength because like I mentioned all the time, hip strength is important for all lower body movements and mechanics. And so a lot of times we start people out with lower level ones, just learning how to activate these posterior hip muscles. So if you're at step one, go ahead and go look up our seven way hips video, our 90 degree clam videos, and start with those. This one today, um, I call it standing clams most of the time, it's more like a standing fire hydrant, but it's a progression from just our basic hip exercises. And so once we learn how to turn those muscles on, we need to make sure that we can utilize them while adding in a dynamic movement. So what you'll do, feet about hip width apart, a mini squat, start about a quarter of the way down. You're gonna shift all your weight to one side and then coming up like a fire hydrant. This side of my hip is working to bring my leg out, but more importantly, my hip and my quad on this side are working really hard to stabilize this leg. And so when you're doing this, I want your stance leg to stay as still as possible. I don't want you curling in like this every movement. This is bad. So use that hip, try to keep your knee over your outside three toes and coming up here. If balance is a big issue for you, you can find something to grab onto. At home, a lot of times, that's like the inside of a doorway. Here, I'll have people do it on the rig. So same thing, squatting down. Just touching this for balance. I'm not hanging on it. So balance here, shifting to one side, coming up and out. And like I feel my right side working, but my left side is working a heck of a lot harder. So go ahead and give this one a shot. Let us know how hard it is for you to keep that leg stable. And let us know if you have any questions. Until next time, I'm Dr. Allison over at Natural Wellness Physiotherapy.